Now, we'll have a conversation about that tonight. Yeah, I don't know why he's waiting <laughs> till tomorrow. To so, yeah. so, so what do you, Train, you're, emo you're emotional about this. What are you saying? It's unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. It, it shows disrespect to your ball club. Everybody that comes in that locker room, you expect them to, to, to bring a certain effort, you know, a certain energy, regardless if you're winning or losing. And right there, I just think that's disrespectful to your locker room, it's disrespectful to ownership, and it's disrespectful to the game. There's no excuse for you not playing hard. And that's his whole mystique and movado of him always running in hard. You see the helmet flying off when he hits a double when it lands. You need to have that same effort when you hit into a double play, and that's the bottom line. Well, I mean, I... I, I... I've met Bryce a few times. He seems like a great guy, but, you know, maybe all those things that are written in the paper are true. Maybe yeah. this guy is, is not the guy that everybody thinks he is. Uh, I, I just feel like for him, that, with the way the Washington Nationals are playing right now, man, that hurts. That's if I was one of his teammates and I saw that effort, if we were 50, if we were 20 games above 500, that's different. But we're struggling, man. We're looking for guys to step up. And when we're looking for Bryce Harper to step up, he's nowhere to be found. And then when you look at Max Scherzer a day ago, running out of base hit, we'll and see. he's your star pitcher. That's it. That's the effort. So it just, yep. it's no excuse. You've already Here, had a Scherzer meeting. train, to your point. This is your star pitcher on an infield Head tap. down. Look at him. <laughs> Head down, smelling a base hit so he can turn the lineup over for his teammates to win a ball game. There's no excuse in that. I, I'm sorry. You know what I mean, I was never the best player on any team, right. but everybody always respected my effort. Regardless if I gave up eight yep. runs, if I had eight shutout, I was always out there working hard, not only for myself, but the name on the jersey in the front was important to yeah. me, and I've always been able to earn people's respect in that. Well, I also feel like at this point in time, this is a huge situation for Dave Martinez right now. Right. I feel like first-year manager, the team is really, really struggling. Will he step up and take that leadership role right. in the locker room like all his guys hope he does? Uh, I, I feel like for Bryce, I mean, you, you never want to get on somebody's effort. Yeah. But right there, man, it clearly shows that his frustrations are really starting to show now. So there's a couple good points. First of all, I, I think with Harper, I don't think we're sitting here saying Bryce Harper doesn't work hard. No, no not at all. When, when you are a superstar and your team has been bad and, and you're trying to figure out aesthetically that you cannot walk to first base on a double play when your pitcher right. does that the night before. I think you bring up a great point about David Martinez. He has been questioned a lot in D.C. by his own players from what I was told, right. okay? Um, he's a heck of a guy. He's trying to figure out Great his first-year manager. Now, let me ask you this. Based on what you just said, does he have to bench Bryce Harper tomorrow? You're asking me if, yes. if that's what I would do? No, uh, I'm I asking, does he have to do it for the respect of the locker it, room? It, it, in my sole opinion, I feel like the situation the Washington Nationals in, are in, he needs to step up and take some accountability. He needs to tell Bryce, hey, that's not what we're doing Does he have to here. bench him? If, I, if I'm Dave Martinez, I sit that man for a day. There you go. Because I, I want to make a statement to my team. What do you he think? He should sit himself. That's unacceptable. I mean, that's bottom line. He doesn't want that to be the lasting impression. People learn a lot about you when you struggle. Right. Everything's all good, and you're hitting the ball to the yeah, upper right. deck. He's so right. It's all easy then. This is a moment where people really measure what's in your heart. And, and you're hitting around 210. It's not like you're hitting 350. Man. You're hitting 210. I'm sliding head first. Something, like old man, man I'm River. searching. <laughs> I'm sniffing out hits. I'm doing man. anything I can to get my on base just and get my team he, going. He's smarter than He knows the cameras are on him. He knows he, 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 he just, he's just got to do But may, maybe this is why the Washington Nationals, this, this might not be their year. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I don't think so either. Swish, I'm telling you, I think, I think it is... It could be a seminal moment for Davey Martinez. I think it's a huge I mean, moment I, I for him. You, I think you were onto it because it's like you're trying to figure it out and does he send a message or not? It's well, going to be fascinating. I'm, yeah. I'm well, fascinated to see the lineup. Tomorrow. i tell you what. He said he's having that conversation tomorrow. Set, boy, 7 o'clock, 6.30. And, I'm calling Bryce. <laughs> hey, man, we got to have this talk. And, yeah. hey, as a pitcher who has called a players-only meeting before, like Scherzer did, mm -hmm. and then Scherzer goes out and runs last night, did Scherzer say something to him? Yeah. Yeah. He has enough clout in that locker room, yeah. enough hardware, and he comes to play every yeah. single time his name is in that lineup. He has enough cachet, and it's important. And again, the window of winning opens and closes yeah. very, very quickly. They've had a bunch of cracks at this with this group of, uh, of players. They've, they've fired managers. At a certain point, you have to look yourselves in the mirror He's the best player, one of the best players in all of baseball. He needs to start proving it with his effort and everything else will come. Well, also, too, man, you saw when Jonathan Papelbaum went after Bryce Harper mm -hmm. and they got rid of Pap. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, Max Scherzer is probably one of the only guys in that locker room 
that can stand up and say something. And I'm interested to see what shakes down, man. I think this is a huge, huge situation for Dave. And, and in my opinion, I hope he makes the right one. As the All-Star Game descends on our nation's capital, the team that plays there is in disarray. Fascinating Big to watch time. the next couple days and see how the Nationals react.